Kelly Alford is, he's the type of history teacher every student should have at some time in their career, hopefully at the beginning of their career, to teach them that love of history and the enthusiasm that Kelly brings. Um, he talks from experience. There are kids who think that he was in the Civil War and it was a Roman uh, senator and all the way through. Kelly's longevity here is really important because he is the only and last teacher who still uses a chalkboard. Kelly Alfred is the lore keeper of Hampton Roads Academy. He is He's not only just you know the source of so much of our institutional memory, but he thrives in that role. He's a historian. He enjoys that role. Um, he's been around so long. His classroom is you know literally a museum. People will will go on a trip somewhere. They'll see something. They'll say, "Mr. Alfred needs to have this in his room," and it can be anything from a European soccer jersey to you know an, an artifact they found, a reproduction they found in a museum somewhere in Europe. It's fantastic. Does it really mean to me? I guess one of the first things that comes to mind is opportunity. The opportunity for me, for instance, to be able to teach a subject that I love, and also the years I spent coaching as well. And it also, I believe, gives us opportunity for students to explore their own areas of expertise, whether it be on the athletic field, in the classroom, on the stage, in the band, all of these things. I coached uh, men's and women's soccer uh, 31 years with the boys and I believe it was 25 years with the ladies. The role that Kelly played, that Coach Alfred played in creating the culture of our soccer program can't be overestimated. You know, his teams have always, his teams always played the game the right way. They were sportsmanlike. He has hundreds of wins to his credit as a coach. But the most important thing is his players learned more than soccer from him. They learned life lessons that many of them have said they've carried with them into their adulthood, into their roles, you know, as grown men. When I was coaching, when, when I hit 300 victories, which was really nice, but more enticing was that we, it was against, well, Walsingham. <laughs> but that was a fond memory. Um, the student body was behind us and that was such a wonderful thing. Everyone who has been in his class remembers the iconic moments, the Caesar trial, uh, the, the fun with freshman Friday, you know, the, the catchphrases, you know, I, I can't hear feel the love or it's another day in paradise without thinking of Kelly Alfred and smiling. As far as Kelly Alfred's impact on our alum, uh, when, when alumni come back to campus, they want to see Kelly. They remember Kelly because Kelly had that enthusiasm back then that he still has now uh, he, to share his love for history. And that's what in inspires students and gets them interested in the subject and gets them to maintain that subject. When I came 15 years ago, I wasn't used to being the new guy. And the conversations that I had with Kelly about what our, you know, what our community's culture is like, you know, how we do it here, were absolutely invaluable. And so he made my transition to part of the HRA community especially seamless. I'll always be very grateful to him for that. He and I have had so many wonderful conversations. Our classrooms are next door. We've, talk, we've talked about Hampton Roads Academy. We've talked about soccer. We've talked about life. The positivity that he brings is a big part of the reason why I think Kelly's such a great guy and such a great colleague to have. All of us have had that teacher who we think back on and say, this person made a difference in the way I thought about things. That's Kelly Alfred.